So Black Panther Wakanda Forever is dropping 70% on Monday. And, uh, you know, they're always going to talk about how great this movie is doing. Oh, this this movie's going to have horrible eggs. It's always doing worse eggs rise in Black Panther 1. Where it's a 73% drop is not good. Okay, it is not good. We can compare this across movies like Fall from Thunder as well, which means the second we could drop for this movie is not going to be too great. We can compare this to Fall from Thunder and Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. All three of these movies, I think Disney was expecting to hit a billion dollars. They were expecting all three of these movies to hit a billion dollars. Fall from Thunder, the dropped... Around 63%, so it's dropping worse than 4 of Thunder, but 4 of Thunder opened lower. But it's dropping worse than 4 of Thunder. And also, we can compare the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, because these are the two movies you really have to compare it to as well. It is dropping even worse than Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness dropped 67% as well. Which means Black Panther, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is going to drop around 70% at its second weekend. Which means it'll make around 40 to 50 million dollars second weekend. And that's with nothing coming out. That only other movie that's coming out is C said and no one's gonna watch that. Okay? This is that means Black Panther Wakanda Forever will not hit a billion dollars, so it's a no one surprise. And Disney's not gonna really make that much money after this movie. As well. So th- this movie is gonna make money at the end of the day, because of course. But again, all the vulture signaling, all the wokeism, all the wokeness that Disney has been pushing in the movies. Was it worth it? That's my main question. Was it worth it to push these woke agendas and these woke ideologies down people's throats as well? Because this movie, of course, we all know this movie is, uh, you know, very racist. You know, you know, as well. People have been quizzed. That's like one of the main criticisms for this movie as well. And it's funny that this movie is a woke pile of garbage. That's like see, that's like Seahawk. That's like Four Room Thunder, and that's like, of course, you know, the other movie, Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Madness. Disney, Disney is dying. Disney is losing money. Disney is still making money on these Marvel movies. Obviously, they're still making money on these movies, but this movie has dropped thirty three percent, which is even worse than Four Room Thunder and Doctor Strange. I'm even book up Black Widow with the Phantom Menace. What's about oh, but Black Widow dropped eighty percent. Let's see if this, let's see if Black Panther dropped even lower than Black Widow. Actually, Black Widow dropped fifty nine percent, but Black Widow had a small opening as well, which means that's also extremely bad for Black Panther Wakanda Forever because if Black Widow dropped eighty percent on the second weekend on the second Friday, which again it was eighty percent drop from a forty nine million dollar dollar with the crews for the previews, so it. Actually, it technically, the Friday includes the 14 million from the first day preview, so it's actually made 26 million on Friday, really. If, which means it technically did not drop 80%, but it, you can go to the about that. But yeah, from the big opening, it dropped. It's dropping worse than Black Widow, it's dropping worse than Spider Man, it's dropping worse than every Marvel movie that has released over the past two years. Okay, this is very bad numbers. For Marvel, this is very bad rigs, which means nobody cares about this movie. Okay, no matter how much the Bond paid for reviews by Rotten Tomatoes, which we all know is Bond paid for, even the people are starting, even people are starting to see if Rotten Tomatoes disguises, you know, the Bond paid for reviews. Okay, people don't really care for this movie. People don't want to see this. People are saying, ah, oh, this movie's mid or it's bad, or even worse, it's bad. Why people are saying this movie's garbage? Okay. And as much as Disney gets the crapping seals, at, at, you know, critics, Nicks, which is still way worse than the first one, because of course the critics couldn't dare criticize the first one. You couldn't dare criticize the first Black Panther, or else you considered a racist. That's what they did with this movie. That's what they did with Woman King. That's what they did with Bros, but there was homophobe. They always use these labels, and it's not working anymore. This stuff is not working anymore. IMDb is at a seven point four. Not to the uh, bar high at the bond paid for reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, the 95 to 90 percent, which we all know Rotten Tomatoes scores are bond paid for. We all know that this score is bond paid for by Disney. Bond paid for by Disney. Okay, it was the same thing with Saintsy. It was the same thing with Spider Man. Well, yes, if people love a movie, then people love a movie. But if you're saying that the movie is perfect, then that's a problem. Okay. You're not allowing the criticism to appear.
Star Wars Rise of Skywalker had a 486%. Every Disney movie magically gets a high score by the audience score because they well, Disney wants to make tries to give you the illusion that people love Black Panther Wakanda forever, but it's photo from the truth. You can there's hundreds of videos about Black Panther Wakanda forever of people criticizing and saying the movie's garbage. So yeah, this movie, I'm not seeing it. I'm not watching it. I'm not giving this movie money. Okay. I am not giving this movie money. I'm not giving four of them fun the money. Okay. The last Marvel movie I really gave money to was uh Doctor Strange. That was the last Marvel movie Marvel movie I really gave money to. And yeah, that is basically about the video here. And Black Panther isn't doing too well. Wigs wise. Of course it's probably gonna make money. It needs to make around six hundred million dollars to make back its money. At the box office, it needs to make around six hundred million dollars to break even, like four of them funded did, and four of them funded. If it's doing worse in terms of eggs, in terms of word of mouth, then four of them funded and more and, and many other Marvel projects, then this is just more bad news for Marvel and upcoming Marvel projects. Okay, the day of Marvel movies making billion dollars may be over. Goodbye.